What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. So before we go ahead and talk about our lovely EVGA 3060XC, we're going to talk about these two little guys. So I got in these little twins here the other day. Um, these are the Power Color Radeon R9 380. And you might be like, what in the world are you doing with these little things? So I got them for a really good deal. <laughs> and I was like, hmm, I have to pick these up. Like, I want to go ahead and uh, pick them up and kind of see what type of pet project I can do with them. Build out like a little mini mining rig or something like that. And then find some fun altcoin that is like super young, uh, very, you know, newer to the scene that we can just set these things on, let them mine and kind of check in on them, you know, monthly and kind of see how they're doing and see how that altcoin is progressing so if you guys have any recommendations on these these are r9380s to give you an idea uh they're four gig cards to give you an idea on ravencoin not that we would mind ravencoin with these just because i want to experiment with some other stuff um these on ravencoin get around 8.5 to 10 based off of our overclock settings um, so that kind of gives you a baseline uh, for these cards so leave a comment down below let me know what your recommendations are for these on another note, guys, I want to remind you guys, we do have a Hobbyist Miner Discord channel. It has been growing, which has been phenomenal very quickly. A lot of very knowledgeable individuals in that channel. So please go ahead and check out the link directly down below for the Hobbyist Miner Discord channel. So in our video two days ago, we went ahead and talked about this guy. This is the EVGA GeForce um, RTX XC very small card the same size almost as those r9s and we were talking about our overclock settings with an msi afterburner and we were talking about our challenge of how this card started out at 48 mega hash and over a minute drops down to 28 and just every time it posts the hash rate it's going lower and lower and lower so uh here's what we're gonna do you guys had some phenomenal recommendations. You guys literally, I think, solved this in like an hour. So the community went ahead and posted here uh, and talking about this motherboard. So this motherboard is out of a old HP desktop down here. Sorry it's so dark down here tonight. I think I forgot to turn on one of the lights. Uh, but it's an old motherboard. And so you guys, just by like seeing the motherboard, went out, researched it, looked at the model. It is an X16 slot. We do have... The dummy plug-in, uh, we do have, we are plugged in the prop report. We did test the dummy plug, didn't work. And we did go ahead and we are using the 470.05 uh, NVIDIA driver. So the issue is the board. This board is an old motherboard. It has an X16 slot, but it only supports 2.0, not 3.0, which is required with the 3060 uh, and the kind of hack or workaround or driver fix, whatever you guys want to call it. So here's what we're gonna to do today. To prove that out entirely, and to prove out that NVIDIA has not gotten smarter than, than what we're hoping they haven't, we're gonna go ahead and shut this down. We're gonna pull this card. We're gonna go over to our gaming rig. And this is actually a EVGA 2080 Super XC. We're gonna pull that out. We're actually gonna start mining with that uh, in here. And I'll we'll actually throw it on the test bench in a future video. And we're going to put in the 3060 into our gaming rig, and we're going to go ahead and test out the hash rate. So let me go ahead and power this down, guys, and uh, we'll get this installed in our gaming rig. Alrighty, so I went ahead and powered down our gaming rig. Um, if you guys are interested in exactly what you're looking at here, um, so this is an AMD Ryzen 9 3900X. Uh, the big Cooler Master cooler there that you guys see is the ML360R. That's the um, AIO a liquid cooler. Uh, for the motherboard, this is the Asus TUF uh, Gaming X570 Wi-Fi motherboard. Uh, in addition to that, uh, the GPU, which is kind of the most important one here, right, uh, is our EVGA GeForce RTX 2080 Super XC Ultra. Um, so we're going to be going ahead and pulling that out uh, to install the 3060. Uh, for our memory that you guys see there, that's the yellow and red. Uh, these are G-Skill uh, Trident Z series 32 gigabytes, uh, and that is of the uh, 3200 DDR4. Uh, and then we also have an Elgato at the bottom left there. That's the Elgato um, HD60 Pro capture card. 
that does the uh, 1080 at 60 FPS. And we are running in this guy here for our power supply. Uh, this is the Cooler Master CX750. Um, so not too bad there. And then finally, this is the Cooler Master uh, Master Box TD500. Uh, this is an ATX mid-size tower that we're seeing here. So just a little, uh, little go around there. I mean, I guess you could also talk about the solid state drive there. It's an M2 uh, and that's a 512. So uh, for all you hardware fanboys, there you go. There's your spec rundown. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and power this down and then we're going to install our 3060 and uh, then we're going to test out this hash rate. So let's go ahead and get to it. Alrighty, so we installed our 3060. It is insanely small compared to this behemoth of a card. Um, dude, 2080 Super. Oh my goodness, you forget? I forgot how big that is, honestly. Um, but yeah, so uh, the 2080 Super used uh, a 6-pin and an 8-pin uh, on it, and the 3060 only uses one 8-pin. Um, so uh, we're going to go ahead and install this. And uh, then we'll see you guys over on the computer and we'll go ahead and test this sucker to figure out was our issue truly the motherboard or do we have a 3060 that has a limiter that bypasses the uh, 470.05 driver. So let's go ahead and find out. Alrighty guys, so there is our 3060 installed. Good to go, gotta love the RGB. Don't judge me, looks like a unicorn threw up in here. Um, but uh, love these fans by the way. Uh, they are phenomenal as well as um, this this cooler. I mean, oh my gosh, it's awesome. It's the 360R. It's huge, um, but it is phenomenal. Uh, so if you're into gaming uh, and uh, you're looking for a rig, this thing is a beauty. Um, oh, you can hear the computer. So um, I went ahead and installed one of my four monitors up here, um, just our LG here. Um, so it's just one monitor plugged in here uh, to do our testing. So let's go ahead and jump over to the computer. Alrighty guys, so we are on our gaming rig now. Um, we do have MSI Afterburner up. We have the exact same settings that we were running uh, yesterday. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, change that. A few things we wanna go ahead and set. There we go. Okay, now we're, we're good to go um, with yesterday's settings. Um, so anyways, uh, we're gonna go ahead and here is our 470. Um, dot zero five driver. Let's go ahead and install that. Uh, we're going to do a clean install of that. Um, so that should go ahead and remove the driver that we are using with 2080. Um, and uh, when we come back on the other side of this, uh, we should have this driver installed, rebooted, and we'll be ready to go ahead and load up Phoenix Miner and do some testing. So I'll be back in just a minute. Alrighty guys, so we went ahead and finished up the uh, clean install of the 470.05 developer driver. Uh, we'll go ahead and boot up MSI Afterburner. Um, as you can see right there on the screen, it does show us that we are running the 470.05, um, which is great. Um, so let's go ahead here. We're going to kick off our overclock settings exactly uh, as to what we had had previously. Why does that keep changing on me? Um, let me go ahead and change these here. I don't know if it's my number lock or what. I want my power to be 80. What is going on with you? Let's go ahead. All right, we'll do it manually. Fine. You're going to make me change it. Okay. Save. Slot one. Okay. Okay, we're good. Okay, <laughs> so now uh, let's go ahead and uh, so let's go through our check. So uh, we're in an X16 slot, um, which is 3.0 versus the last one was 2.0 in our test rig. Um, we are running the NVG, NVIDIA GeForce RTX um, 470.05 driver. 
uh, and uh, we don't need a dummy plug because we are plugged directly into a monitor. So our next step is to go ahead and launch Phoenix Miner. We haven't done any configurations in here. This is the default. I'm not worried about mining to someone else's wallet. We're just doing a quick test here. So we're going to go ahead and kick off Start Miner. And uh, let's unblock this here. And uh, let's see what we get. All right. So it's building the DAG. We are at 44. Now the question is, does it drop? 44.6, it's gone up. That's good. Good, good, good. 44.7, all right, all right. This is promising. 44.7, four. So, okay, it is continuing to, to rise right now, um, which is phenomenal to see. Um, and uh, giving us some details there, which is great. As I said, guys, this is just a test. Um, we'll go ahead and let it continue through. It looks like we are not experiencing what we experienced on our test bench. Guess we need a new freaking test bench. What do you think? I, I, okay, the test bench works for older cards, uh, but for newer cards, uh, definitely not. Definitely not. So um, yeah, I am. Uh, I'm excited. You guys literally crushed it. Like, if you look at the last video that I did on this 3060 running into this challenge, I spent about an hour trying to troubleshoot it completely looked over the fact of the slot being a 2.0 versus a 3.0 slot for x16 and then it's so interesting how awesome the mining community is like people on my discord when that video launched and people on the youtube channel just flooded with comments and recommendations on things to do to try this like oh try this try this is it this look into this oh i looked into your motherboard and here's the stats on it and it doesn't support this like you guys are insane like insane, like I can't, the support is unreal. The nice thing is no one that I could see so far, now I haven't got through all the comments, we're over a hundred now. No one came out and was like, dude, you're an idiot. Like, like I appreciate it. And, and as I continue to push on the channel, we're learning, we're growing and we're mining. And so I will make mistakes. I will not know everything. Um, and you guys are, you guys have just been phenomenal. So I do appreciate it. So we have gone ahead and proven out that the 3060 workaround is still live, is still working, which is awesome. I'm happy to hear that. Based off this information and just our experience with the 3060, I am going to stay with the 3060 in my gaming rig. Now, you guys might go, wait, what? The, the, the 2080 Super XC is better. It's awesome. Dude, I totally agree with you guys. Absolutely, 100%. It, the 2080 Super XC for gaming is better than the 3060, okay? But I can easily put that 2080 Super XC into my mining rig on Hive OS, and the ease of use is so much easier than having to deal with the additional steps that NVIDIA has forced us to go through to mine with this 3060. So that being said, I will be keeping this in my gaming rig. I will not be mining with it. Uh, I will be gaming with it. So for all you gamers out there that hate us miners, I will be gaming with the 3060 XC. Thank you very much. And we'll be going ahead and putting the 2080 Super XC to work in Hive OS mining Ethereum. Well, guys, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Thank you guys very much for catching up with me and diving into this issue. If you guys did like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Take care.